corruption case Gumida appeared at the Durban Magistrate Court today. The state requested six months for it to conclude its investigation, saying investigations into such cases are complex. The court ordered that the state report back in three months. SABC reporter Simpiwe Makanya has been uh, observing the proceedings and was there when um, uh, Ma Gumede was giving her speech to her supporters after the court case. Over to you Simpiwe, what's the latest? Thank you very much, uh, Nompo. Well, as you right put, put, it, put it there in your intro, the former Etegwini mayor appeared here at the Deben Magistrates Court when uh, uh, again facing charges of fraud, corruption and racketeering. The developments that we have now, uh, Nompo, points to the fact that it's no longer the multi-million rand tender, which was to the tune of eight, 208 million rand. The number now has increased. Rather, the figure has increased to about 380 uh, million rand now. That is in question that is currently being investigated by uh, police. What basically transfer, what transpired today was that the uh, state presented its case saying that uh, after the operation which was conducted uh, in October where they, they uh, attached quite a number of uh, properties and documents belonging to the accused in this matter, they found new documents which actually uh, point to the fact that they are also involved or are part of this uh, ongoing investigation of the Deben uh, solid waste tender uh, which was granted by the municipality of Eteguini. The state then uh, uh, approached the magistrate to say it is not currently ready to proceed with this matter as it is awaiting quite a number of documents, documents which include bank statements from, uh, various, from various banks uh, regarding the accused in this matter. They are also saying that there is a a forensic team that is currently uh, investigating or, 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 or probing the uh, documents which have been already presented uh, to the investigators in this particular matter. The state then requested a postponement of about six months uh, of, on this matter. The, 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 the lawyers representing the accused were initially uh, opposed to this uh, uh, postponement, saying that from the onset they had always maintained that these charges are politically motivated. The state does not have its case as it, as it is, but the magistrate was lenient to the uh, state saying that uh, uh, if the state requires further uh, uh, information then the state has to be given that uh, space to actually probe this matter further. Uh, uh, then a, a postponement of, of, about, of about three months was granted to say the state will have to come back in, on the 16th of April at this very court to tell the magistrate uh, and the uh, accused in this matter as to how far they have gone with the investigations. When the former mayor addressed uh, he, her supporters outside court today. She has been saying this one and the same thing to basically say these charges are politically motivated. She maintains that she is innocent along with her co-accused who was also uh, in the municipality of Eteguin at the time, Councillor Mundi Mtembu. Uh, go, even going as far as to say that uh, she was not the executive mayor of Eteguin, therefore she did not sign any documents. Uh, she's basically questioning why she finds herself where she is today. Nombu? Why does she say that it's been nearly a year and charges haven't been brought against her? I mean, by virtue of the fact that she had to go to the magistrate court, surely charges have been brought against her. Certainly, no charges have been brought against her, but the state will have to formulate now the official charges because uh, this matter that is currently being probed is in relation to that multi-million rand Deben solid waste tender. She is vehemently saying that as it is now, she doesn't know where she stands in terms of her charges, but we do know that according to the NPA that she's facing charges of fraud, corruption and racketeering. Nombu. Okay, Simpi, we're going to leave it there. Thank you very much for that update. My colleague there, Simpi Makani.